All right, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and a bloody good evening. Welcome back to the channel, hopefully doing well. And yes, it is time to break down what I've just seen in the uh, trailer, which is basically everything to do with the quantum tech now. We've got a clear visual on the machines, the belts, new items. There was so much going on. This video is going to be long, so just sit back, relax, and let me know in the comments if I missed anything. And if there's enough in the comments, Maybe I'll do a follow-up video, and maybe, who knows, I'll get my good friend Total Eclipse to, we'll have a little, kind of like, a podcast kind of thing, and go over what we've both seen, and kind of just smash our heads together with your thoughts, his community's thoughts, and all that kind of good stuff, but, um, also, I want to give you a massive thank you, because we've just hit 50,000 subscribers, so, thank you so much, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, you guys have made... This little boy's dream come true of allowing me to do this full time. Uh, and uh, he is to many more years, hopefully, fingers crossed. And uh, I can do you proud. And um, he is to reaching 100k next. So enjoy the video and let's get straight into the breakdown. Okay, so we've got the first still, which is this one. This is the first one that is presented to us. And to be honest, there's not a lot going on with this one. All we can really see is the constructors over here with splitters. Uh, we can see everything is connected via wires. We've got your standard kind of blocked building, drone port on top. You got your gas little stuff up here. Particle accelerators. We can kind of see the new windows here, but we'll get to that in a second because you know, we get, we get a clearer image. Uh, we can see what I'm calling the quantum encoder right there. Radio tower, fluid buffers, storage containers. Um, here's this new fence that we've been talking about in the previous uh, breakdown videos uh, that we've seen. And hopefully we can get a good, clearer image of them uh, in the coming shots. Next image is this one. We can clearly get a good image on the actual um, windows. Uh, we can also see in here one of the new items, which kind of looks like a pink little jetpack kind of thing, but it's obviously not. Um, and then here's a good look at these new like half walls we're receiving that we can use for like bollards and whatnot. Um, and anything else on here I'm seeing, not really. Um, we can kind of see the normal windows, the pillars, just your standard walls, railings, uh, stud cables, and again, your constructors, uh, and just mainly this stuff. Then we get a close-up through the window, and we can kind of see, obviously, DLS doing its action here with the blur uh, that's kind of happening on the belts. Uh, but we can get a clearer little image of what's going on here with this new item. And it, like I said, it kind of looks like a jetpack. Uh, maybe it could be used for fuel or something, but we don't know what this is going to be used for. All we know, it comes out of Constructor, and I can't really tell what this is coming in. I would presume, presume that this could be the Samor from this image. I'm only presuming right now from what I've seen from the stills. Um, so that could potentially be Samor. It's the same color that we've noticed from the previous um, video uh, with the Samor kind of in the crater lakes. And the one thing I do like about these windows is they've got like a bit of a diagonal lip, um, which is pretty cool. And um, it's a little bit different compared to the other ones because they're all kind of like near enough flat and have a bit of a chunky bottom. Uh, these ones kind of like stack and then go straight up. Next up is this, and there's something in this image that is really, really catching my eye right now, and it's literally the power. I'm very, very, very curious why this is purple. Why is the power connected to purple? At first, I was thinking, is this a new way of maybe representing um, overclocking? Um, as we know, like everything we got in the purple color is coming from like potentially sam or or alien tech um so i'm kind of super curious of what this is going to be hopefully we can see it in some more images and obviously we get more images of uh this good stuff here the reason i say it's not overclocked is this is green um and it's not blue so that's why i'm thinking is like is this overclocked or not well we kind of know from the image it's not unless they've changed it and whatever's purple now is now uh, what's overclocked uh, and they've just kind of given it the still green so okay this is on or uh, yellow is kind of you know it's on pause right now and red it's not connected or whatever and then purple is the new indication for overclocked maybe that's a solution maybe 
Next up, we have a manifold line of smelters, which are basically taking in uh, Caterium, which is outputting Caterium ingots. Um, I'm not seeing anything else over here. We can see a train line over here with some holes attachment. And then here is a look at this new building that we've been kind of looking into, which is kind of like a weird kind of overly shape that's pulsing weird colors. Um, so I'm kind of curious on what that is. And then we can see here as well, these constructors are actually uh, inputting this orange um, ore, which is this one that we've been seeing regarding, like it looks a bit like the biomass, kind of like the stacked. And then they're outputting whatever these triangle pieces are. So this, these like little triangle pieces, we can get a clearer image of that because I do remember seeing that further on in the trailer next up we have this image where we can kind of see a lot more clearing out whatever this building is and what it's producing and we can kind of see here's them whatever's coming out of them which is them oval like biomass looking ones but they're not the more you know the solid and this is what's making them triangle things so either like we can kind of see there is a i think that's an elevator right there yeah there's an elevator right there with an input because obviously we can tell by the three lines right here um on this this side of the machine so there is an input and that means there is an output so we don't know what this is i can't really tell what is on the input but we do know it is outputting um little biomass looking things i'm not i'm only calling them biomass looking things because the kind of stacks this is very similar just with a bit of a darker hue in regards to the orange color and then over here we can obviously see the uh aluminium uh, and then we've also got these little little packs again um little packages um and we don't know have a clue what them are um anything else here i am not seeing i was just having a close look at these walls here i thought it was like a new kind of texture but it's not it's basically these walls but darker color i was looking at it was like these look more like a rusted metal it's not it's just they're all this kind of same color unless They've got a, like a different texture, but I'm looking at these um, and they've got the same patterns, um, same pattern there, the line across there, line across there, line, 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 line. Uh, it, it's basically new enough the same. Right, this next shot, prepare your eyeballs because obviously we've got the glow coming off these biomass looking things again. So we can kind of get a clearer look at what these are. Don't have a clue where they're coming from, but as we know, they can see that they go into the constructors which are outputting the triangle pieces, but the manifold for that is heading that way. Uh, as we can tell by this merger on the output here, I uh, kind of see it comes out here, merger here, which then goes that way, which is merging this one here onto that manifold. Um, nothing is overclocked. Uh, we just got the cables coming in. Here's a, another look at the windows, which are, it looks like it's double stacked this time. And then inside here, we can see this new kind of building which is the one we've just seen a minute ago with like the reddish glow but i'm very very curious on what this is right here it looks like a weird purpley alien i don't know if it's just an effect coming from the actual machine or and it's something to do we can kind of see like a straight line coming down here in the texture i don't know if that's just due to a render something with a window and we're not seeing this correctly but i don't know what it is or it's just a weird effect that's on the window but you can kind of see it's like a weird kind of layered kind of whatever it is. But it looks like a big egg kind of thing, but it's not. Um, I don't know what's going on, but maybe we can get a better image going forward. Next, the image actually pans up a little bit and we can kind of get a better look at this machine. We can kind of see like this weird pattern of like these hexagons, um, which kind of looks like what you see on like a SpaceX rocket ship, which is kind of curious. And then also we can see right here, the light is the overclocked light. So whatever the purple kind of stuff is happening to the machine is something else not overclocking, uh, but it could be maybe a big mixture of both or something, I don't know. Um, but I'm very curious about what that purple glow is on the machine. And we see actually see a bit more of it in the future next image the first thing you're going to be seeing is these two big massive beacon looking lights and we kind of know that is coming from what i'm calling the quantum encoder and then we get a clearer image now on these triangle little prisms that we're receiving um but i don't know what you know material they're made of i'm i'm curious to see if it is brass and but are we getting like tin and other stuff but like i don't know what material this is um and couldn't even bloody tell you next image we, we just have basically the wing of the drone uh we have basically some stacked belts one two three four and it does look like coal 
is on these belts, either that or it's charcoal. Uh, we can't really dis you know, dis see from here, but it does look more... You can't really tell, to be honest. I was going to say it looks a bit more circle than what charcoal is. Um, but yeah, we can, then we can see them brownish prism things down here. We've got some quartz, and then we have some plastic down there. And then here we have the first shot of this blue liquid, which we've kind of seen a lot recently. And then we've got some manufacturers in the background. And then we've got these little purple glows again. And I don't know, I've got another one here, but they're very, very tiny in this image. Uh, there's also a little bit of this purple kind of dust here as well. Um, and I'm not seeing it anywhere else, but I'm very, very curious on what that is. And then next up, we get a, a little bit of a higher advantage uh, where we can kind of see now that this is coal on this belt. We have the triangle prisms here. We've got some quartz. And then we've got something else on this bottom shelf, which we can't really tell what it is. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like rubble or it could be that gelatin kind of substance we see later inside the basket, uh, which I think it could be. It's kind of like the see-through diamondy crystal kind of thing, but we'll get to that later on. Again, plastic. And then we can see our particle accelerators, which have been colored. Uh, and this color, if you've ever watched Snut's uh, Let's Play, um, kind of what he was doing on Twitch, he liked using this color uh, because Snut is, uh, he likes to work with different colors than what people aren't used to. And this was a color he used a lot in his uh, playthrough, kind of like this bronzy kind of color. Next up, we can kind of see basically the train in the background. We have two miners over here, which by the look of them, I can't distinct if they're maybe new. Um, but we do have a, I think that is possibly nuclear pasta right there. I could be wrong. And then down here, we have a new form of item. Can't obviously make it out what it is, uh, but it is something that's obviously glowing in the middle. I, I couldn't, I think it might be that weird kind of like refrigerator looking thing with a solid base without the crystal in the middle. Uh, but hopefully we'll get a better shot going forward. Over here, we can see some AI limiters and obviously this quantum encoder that I'm seeing. The signals are basically the same. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a waypoint signal. And then we're seeing here this. I don't know if this is just because of render distance that it's this, but it looks more yellowy to me. Um, but I don't know if, again, it could be a render render thing. If I can kind of hopefully see the fluid, maybe not because these are kind of blue over here. And I would think this would be the same as that because that over here is further away. Then we also have the quantum encoders here, particle accelerators, I can't be sure if that is resin. I don't know, but hopefully we get a clearer image. Oh, I also knew enough forgot. Here's that diamondy looking crystal, but I know for a fact we get a better image uh, going forward anyway. Next up, we get this aerial shot, which there is something new here that we can actually see. Uh, well, I would say new, but you've got your copper systems down here. Let me make that a bit bigger. You've got your copper sheets down here. You've got copper wire, which is making a cable in that side, this manifold right here. Cable then exit off screen up that way. We've also got some plastic, which is easily visible and your quartz and then brass stuff that we've been seeing the triangle prisms. And then this is where we can kind of get a little bit interesting because if we actually look at this pipe, we can see a solid output on this building. And then this pipe goes in here as well. And you can kind of see literally right here here, if I can just make that a bit smaller, here is the input of the actual pipe. So we have that. This has an input as well, uh, but I couldn't tell you if there is a liquid input as well, but I don't think there is, but I can't say for certain as of right now. We can see this one is currently powered and this one is currently down at the minute. I'm just wondering why that is, because if this is powered, this has an item going out of it, which is the liquid. And then on this side, there's no solid input on this. So where is this? How is this moving right now or like inputting? So either there is a, a pipe coming through the ground here that we can't see, like in this area, but this one's currently... So I'm curious on how this liquid is coming out and where it's coming from. Next, we have another aerial shot, which is just a bit further on, but we can see some cable here, which is the one that was going off screen from earlier. It heads into this manufacturer with some plastic and some computer chips. 
which is obvious what that's making. And then also we have some plastic over here, which is just kind of being split. This plastic, however, is not going into here. Uh, this has cable. It has some... Oh, that's making high-speed connectors, right? That's wire, computer chips and cable that's high speed connectors oh we can kind of see them on the belt there as well uh and then over here which is the same or same blue liquid quartz and then this is just another angle of this image uh, we've also got this blue little light here i don't know if that's just coming off the machine from the uh, arrow for the output uh other than that i don't actually know and then again we can kind of see this gelatin looking crystal kind of thing moving its way down this belt heading over to where all the other um where the call is and all that kind of stuff. Next up, we have a shot of the particle accelerators. We can see some coal coming down and going into this input. Uh, we've also got some uh, crystal substance is actually coming out of the particle accelerator. Um, so that's a new recipe. You can't really tell what the input is, uh, but if I'm not mistaken, we can kind of see coal here, coal going into this. So I would think this coal might be going into this but I'm not seeing any other materials going into this for this to be output. So is it just consuming coal unless there's a lift here for this other output, but we can kind of look down here and see this, that this one's empty. So I'm curious on what, if coal's just producing that. Then we have these prisms again, some more quartz. We have plastic going on the input of the constructor. We can't really uh, construct it, the manufacturer. And then we can see the quantum encoders with a blue blue juice um in the pipes over here we can't really see what's coming out of these manufacturers because of this smoke and then here is a good shot of the gelatin slash luby looking product that's very gloopy um yeah this is coming out of the particle accelerator and i'm just looking at this this belt is different is this the new high speed belt on this image also we can see again the overclocking light being used so again this purple mysterious thing going on with the, the wire uh, a little bit confusing uh, at the minute but intrigued next we've got a different angle of the the gelatin slash lube kind of thing and this is just a, a mark one belt um normal power pole we have the outputs and then sorry not the output but then we also have this purple smoke actually coming out of uh, the machine this time not like a purple sparkly thing but i'm just looking at this right this purple smoke thing is very similar to what is going on with these it's like the same color purple am i going crazy to think that these could be emitting some some radius kind of thing with an input of something maybe because if we actually look at this look how ferocious that's coming out of there and now it's just gone to image which it is making computers wait are they computers they are computers right and then we have this image right here and we can kind of see whatever this is it's kind of got the orange base with like a cube uh kind of structure and it comes out basically two of them and then we've got this luby stuff again here and then here's that little gooey stuff again which i'm kind of curious of what this is because this is this new machine and if we refer to the video we can actually see it kind of emitting like a purpley kind of weird kind of like glow kind of thing you can kind of see it here next up we have a good shot of the new man which we've kind of seen in the previous video where snook talks about the hard drives um down here we have some caterium uh going on the inputs of these uh assemblers uh particle accelerators another one the quantum encoder with a uh output of the the peptabismol and then we've also got these triangle prisms which are going on the input of the actual um quantum encoder as well as the blue liquid so the blue liquid quartz and these triangle prisms are all making their way into this quantum encoder which are making the peptabismol and this cube looking um item which we saw in the 1.0 trailer moving along the belt coming out from the output as well um so we can we, we don't know what this is just yet this is a bit plutonium and then i'm looking at the background here and we kind of see these pink items again uh just two of them on the belt right there and it looks like they're making their way into 
the particle accelerator or they've just come out i can't really tell from this angle and then next up we've got the manufacturers with the confirmed uh, quantum computers which have been a long time coming they've literally looked exactly the same as what they do uh in the base game already and then nothing else on this image is actually standing out to me and here we can actually get a better input of the actual um quantum computer we can see again this blue liquid we've also got the um the prisms but i was mistaken about the quartz the quartz doesn't seem to be heading this way but we do have like these quantum kind of crystals here um which i'm going to call these oh we can actually see an input of that machine so that item right there is what's going in so that's going into there then we also have the prisms kind of going into here with this liquid but there is another belt here but we can't really tell what is going on that so if we just play the video i'm not seeing any item actually on it and then we come across here with this you know brass looking paint with a pepto-bismol and then again here we've got this sludge with the quantum crystals they're not going to be called this and whatnot but and then this shot is where it gets extra juicy because one we can see the quantum crystals we can see uh nuclear pasta but then we also have these now the little death stars um it's like something you'll get from a digital <laughs> like a collector's edition from a star wars game or something you can put on your shelf and then also we've got the plutonium waste right here and uh these actually remind me of toxic waste i don't know if they have them elsewhere in the world but little yellow toxic waste barrels and super sour sweets and stuff um but yeah this is a very peculiar something it looks it looks like um an ai brain kind of quantum i won't say quantum computer but you know what i mean and then this leads into this image with this weird ass looking ball so i don't know what this is definitely some form of power source and it looks new enough like that sphere we've just seen in the previous image but combined into i'm pretty sure this is a manufacturer actually no i don't think it is but we get an overshot of the quantum encoder and we can actually see what the items is now so we already know that this right here is the blue item the blue liquid uh, and then we've got these quantum crystals going in there with the quartz and then whatever these little boxes are these little packages these are going into here to actually make a solid and also a liquid which we already know that this is the pink peptobismol and if we actually go to this i'm not seeing anything come out of this belt just yet and there it is a bloody power shard which i was not gonna guess was gonna get made in a machine so the Pepto-Bismol comes out here and then a power shard so does that mean now we have unlimited power shards in the game we are doing a dog off for him and then it fades to black and then suddenly we suddenly then suddenly we start to hear the hold up a minute I totally forgot about this let me go back here and try and find a frame for this oh my god okay okay so hit the pioneer is actually reaching his hand out here and this is obviously bigger than the pioneer is this something we put down to regards to the story i thought initially that this could be something to do with like the mercy spheres and what but then when we got announced that the mercy spheres are not part of the story and whatnot could this be a tp machine potentially think of like a nether portal and maybe but we know this kind of speaks but could that have been a red herring and then we can hear the minor boot up and then we have the grand finale um of speedy boy Caterium. literally speedy boy Caterium on these new belts and what makes it stand out it, look at actually the lights here i don't know if the, this is uh just because he's strafing and it's just kind of like a little weird visual glitch but you can kind of see these lights moving along the belt kind of like racing stripes because the other belts like the mark five belts are you know super thick they've got like winged sides and everything and then in the background here you can see the uh the good old egg yolk with the bees around it but there we have it that is basically my initial uh things i've seen straight off the bat just by grabbing the screenshot from the video uh, and all that kind of good stuff let me know if you caught any of them or if there's anything else that i might have missed please let me know in the comments 
Uh, and also, I want to give you a massive, massive thank you because we've just hit 50k subscribers. So thank you again so much uh, for the love and support that you provided me over this four years on YouTube and uh, many more years to come, hopefully, fingers crossed. And uh, next stop, 100k. So again, thank you so much for watching. 